Hey, what's up guys? Camp Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we are going over everything to do with 7.2 and man do we have a lot of information so you're going to want to stick around for the entire thing. First, my voice is not naturally this deep. I got some type of cold going or something. I wish it was, I don't know if I wish it was this deep. It's a little raspy but yeah, don't worry about that. And I don't know what the item shop is right now. I'm obviously filming it before and I'm going to rush this one out. So if I make any mistakes, hopefully I don't, but I got like seven hours of class today. I rushed home just to make this quick video. I got about an hour till I have to leave again. So let's do this. Deploy your gliders. Patch 7.2 releases tomorrow, January 15th. Downtime begins at 5 a.m. Eastern. So exactly as expected. Um, I'm super excited for this and yes deploy your gliders there is uh, there's a lot of stuff we need to talk about including this gliders thing what's going on well let's start with the obvious one here the scope revolver this was announced last night um, the six shot pistol that packs a punch and provides perfect accuracy at range so we can't really assume what this is going to be like. A lot of the comments and responses to this are like, who at Epic Games wants a revolver in the game so badly? But I'm not against it. I just, I'm very glad it has perfect, like, one, you know, perfect accuracy. It needs to have that. But this thing needs to do some damage or it's going to be useless once again. What that damage number is... That depends on the reload time, the time in between shots, uh, a lot of different factors. I, my assumption, this gun won't be, no one will use it. I don't know, I, but I could be totally wrong. Just based on the previous revolvers, they, they just have not been good enough to, to consider putting them in your, in your main setup, right? There's just too many better weapons. Hey, maybe I'll be wrong. We will see. Before we go any further with the update tonight, I'm going to have probably three plus videos going out about the update. All the changes, all the things in the files, cosmetics, things like that, and then all the secrets. So things uh, probably to do with the new dra the dragon event we think that is coming. I'm sure we're going to get some info on that tonight. So if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. I keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. Make sure to touch that like button for me right now if you're excited for the update and uh, support a creative code, The Camping Rusher. Let me know if you do so I can say thank you. I really appreciate the support. Okay. Itemize Glider Redeploy. Glider Redeploy is back, ladies and gentlemen, and um, I'm going to read it out to you. There is a very split response on the mechanic, which revealed some positives as well as some negatives. This is to do with the first time Glider Redeploy was introduced. We removed the mechanic from default modes but feel an alternative implementation will help in solving some of these negatives and better suits our goals. The goal with the item is to provide mobility and utility, but in a form that can be balanced and iterated upon. By implementing glider redeploy as an item, we can iterate on multiple different levels, redeploy height, movement speed, drop chance, charge count, including inventory slot tension. Uh, so here, I'll put this on your screen. Here's a quick overview of how it's going to work in 7.2. The gliders item will take up an inventory slot. All right, that's big and can be found from normal loot sources. You activate glider, re glider redeploy as you normally would. You do not need to select the item. So it actually works like those backpack items we were talking about a few bids back. Each deploy will remove one charge. When all charges are used, the item disappears, similar to the grappler. Use of launch pads, rifts to go, and LTM respawns will not consume a charge as these put you in skydiving mode. The new glider redeploy item can be found floor loot, chest, vending machines, and supply llamas. So, uh, to do with the, the large team modes, when you drop from the battle bus, you will be automatically granted a glider item with 50 charges. This is only for the big LTMs, all right, not normal modes. Um, this counts as you being in skydive mode so you don't use a charge. Um, and then from there, you can decide in the big LTMs, you can drop that item. You can either keep it or drop it for something else. Um, and 50 charges is how many you have. And that is more than you will get in the normal mode. And there's a, a thread with Mr. Popo, uh, just a, a Fortnite employee, right? He probably my favorite because he answers so many questions and leaks so many things. Um, Normal mode, its rarity is rare and can be found in stacks of 10. So exactly like the grappler in normal modes. It's got 10 uses, you can find it anywhere. It's rare, the grappler is not rare, but whatever, that doesn't matter. And then you can choose to keep it in your inventory as, uh, as an item. You can hold multiple stacks. Um, each stack takes up a slot. You cannot combine the stack. So once again, grappler. 
other than that, that's all the information on this. How is this going to affect? I think it's a great way to introduce it. I think it's going to be used less than more because it takes up an item slot. For me, uh, personally thinking, like my debate would be to have this item over, over my utility, right? And I, I would say grappler is my number one utility. Uh, stink grenades, dynamite, RPG, grenade launcher, like this heavy sniper rifle. There's so many... Um, I call it my Z, my, my fourth weapon slot, right? My, my Z, my Z. Um, and I don't think it's going to be worth it to replace some of those items. Like there's just too many good items for me to use glider redeploy, but it could be like balloons. I, I do like balloons. It, you know, if, uh, if you have the available slot, you know, early game, it helps you to travel across the map faster to me. It's, it's not a bad thing. And uh, what do you think on this? How do you think this is going to work? Are you going to use it? Do you think it's worth an item slot for you? Let me know. All right. Sean, Mr. Popo also leaked a bunch of things to do with building sensitivity. And I think it's mostly console stuff. So uh, you guys are going to be excited here from the V7.2 patch notes. So this is actually patch notes uh, information. I'm sure a lot of this info is right. Building sensitivity change also applies to edit mode. I know this one's been very, uh, this has been demanded by a lot of console players. It makes sense. And I'm really glad they're adding this for you guys. Separate targeting scope and gamepad building sensitivity settings are now shared between Save the World and Battle Royale. Okay. Sensitivity settings allow for more granular adjustments. I looked up the definition of that word. I, I thought I knew what it meant, but I just want to make sure just very small, minuscule adjustments, right? Which, which is a good thing. You want to be able to adjust it super slightly. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. All right. That is 7.2 information, but stick around. There's a couple bonus pieces of, of info here. First one, uh, quickly, Fortnite is celebrating the year of the pig with a special block feature. Support your festive Lunar New Year islands by uh, January 19th, 2019. So this version rotation of the block will be to do with, uh, with this post here. So if you're trying to do it, if you're submitting, make it uh, you know festive Lunar New Year islands, year of the pig, go that route and you'll have uh, you won't have a chance to get accepted in this rotation if you do not lastly this one is going to uh this is crazy to me it, it's a it's a lawsuit it's another lawsuit all right it's orange shirt kid uh his mother is suing epic games over the fortnite orange justice emote and i don't want to belittle the reasoning for it i'll i'll sum it up for you but basically orange shirt kid um, he, you know, he put that video online and orange justice is obviously in the game. Now he did not win the boogie down contest. And this was the, the contest where everyone submits a, a, a dance. The winner get, that, that gets chosen by Epic and the community, they get their dance put in the game. Orange Justice did not win, but because so many people wanted his dance in the game, Fortnite ended up adding it anyways. As reported by Variety, the lawsuit does not actually include the boogie down contest, nor the tweets in which, the celebra in which celebrated the addition of the emo. Instead, his mother, uh, Rachel McCummers, claims that Orange Shirt Kid exploded in popularity in or around early 2018 after he made a video of himself performing the dance. Also in the filing was a claim that her son was subject to extreme cyberbullying and as a result deactivated his social medias. While this part of the lawsuit may unfortunately be true, it's peculiar and quite interesting that the boogie down contest was uh, excluded from the lawsuit filing entirely. It's possible that if this lawsuit makes it to court, Epic Games will use the contest as a very solid defense. Um, and I'm reading here from Fortnite News, Fortnite BR, all credit down below. So yeah, like that's what I want to say. Um, there, I think there was some cyberbullying going on here, and that that sucks, man. You don't want to see that, and I don't want to discredit um you know what what that kid experienced it's horrible but is it lawsuit worthy towards epic games not in my mind at all right and i agree here with fortnite news um the i'm actually looking at the pdf file of the actual um the actual lawsuit uh, legal lawsuit again credit down below you can check it out yourself uh it's like 29 pages so i can't really show you any of it um and there there's nothing right there's nothing regarding orange shirt kid putting up the video in order to get his dance in the game that was his motivation that was his goal to to leave that out 
like there's no way he can win epic games has such a good defense there that i i don't know what do you agree with me do you agree with fortnite news and myself on this uh topic let me know in the comment section down below ladies and gentlemen that's all i got for you today i'm gonna get this video edited rendered uh and uploaded hopefully before i have to go to class we officially have 45 minutes so thanks for watching touch that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i'll see you all tonight technically for for the brand new update thanks guys